Alright, so it's time for a story video. It's been over 10 months since I've uploaded one, and uh, I believe the last one that I uploaded was chapter 29 completion, and that was only two character teams. So uh, currently I'm at five characters teams, and um, I'm at chapter 38, and characters have Spirit Hall and uh, Limit Breaker, all that kind of stuff, so I'm not pushing story anymore. So I thought I might as well take a little break, make a video on story, show my teams, Spirit Hall, Machine Core, all that kind of stuff. So let's just get into this. This should help you with five teams and teams that are below five. So like four or three. Uh, I hope you guys find this helpful. Um, this is going to take some time. So let's just get into this. Uh, enough talking so I'm gonna be talking about basically everything on a character so that includes the talent the chips the limit breaker and the spirit hall as well as machine core and essence which is um, yeah those are some old things but we'll talk about that as well uh, obviously I'm not gonna talk about battle will um, that's pretty self-explanatory so yeah let's just get into this so this is what my character teams would look like if I was trying to push for story. I will explain later on why I'm using these exact characters and why their spirit hall is distributed that way. I'm gonna first of all start off, off with the essence. So uh, this is the essence setup that I'm using. I use this even if I'm not doing story, it always stay this, stays the same. So for purple essence, it mainly has the damage characters that I use. So Trouble, Tornado, Golden Ball, Really, it's the most helpful one out of all of them. Death Gatling and Michael Plasma, those are all in here as well. So that's why I keep this at 50 and the rest stay at 30. So there you go. Uh, so that's basically for Essence. Essence is pretty simple. Uh, it's not like Spirit Hole where you can select which skill you want to obtain. So I just level it up um, to whatever you're, you can level it up to. Uh, I always keep the purple Essence obviously higher. Uh, let's just move on to the bots. So bots are really going to be really helpful for you if you're doing story because when you level them up, uh, you get machine core and you can put machine core on your characters. So uh, I only have five level 30 machine cores, which is not all that much, but it's not that bad. It really helps for um, story. So that's it for bot. Uh, all you need to get machine core is level up your bots their level as well as their stars so those two things if you increase those you can get the machine core xp and you can put machine core on your characters which obviously makes them stronger so let's just get into the spirit hall the spirit hall i always use this one a psychic overlord this is the one that you need the level of it depends uh, on your spirit hall how much you have so you're basically using a spirit hall for these abilities not just for the damage boost uh, unlike machine core which only buffs the characters but doesn't actually give any additional skills spirit hall does it also obviously gives you these stats which is great so this is the one that you want to use psychic overlord always use this one for story um if you're doing the boss damage and whatnot then obviously this is the one to go uh, this is for critical damage and all that stuff okay so that's the sp spirit hall so i only use three sp spirit halls so the spirit halls are based on the essence so if your character is in purple essence they're gonna have purple spirit hall if it's red they're, then they're gonna have red spirit hall so i so the only spirit hall that i use is purple green and orange so these ones are not all that helpful uh, that's why I don't use them So if I go up here, you can see I have These three are gonna be your purple This is gonna be purple as well. This is purple too. purple and purple the only two characters these two this is your orange essence and this is green So hopefully that's clear mainly you're gonna be using the purple essence uh, spirit hall so uh, obviously unless you have um bloodthirsty girl of your own at uh, plus 10 then go crazy so that's the spirit hall that you want to use for purple characters uh, for this one and uh, the best one is going to be taunt that's just my opinion you, you're going to want to have taunt because melz is going to be able to ult because he's getting attack and their other characters won't take damage 
because of the taunt. So this is the skill that you want to get. Uh, it's this one's the one in the middle. The taunt comes at level three and four. And this is the one for G4. So D4, you're gonna want to use, I think this one's called Eradicate. Yes, it's called Eradicate. So that's the one you want to use. Uh, it gives Rage, which is extremely helpful and increases the attack. So just for that alone, you're gonna want to use Spirit Hall on G4. So this is what my chips are looking like. A lot of people have different kind of chips. Some people's chips are a lot better, some are a lot worse. But my general advice would be to not merge all your chips, to just to get a few good chips. So what I mean is over here, uh, as you can see, I have a lot of epic chips, a lot of epic chips. Uh, if you're trying to push for a story, it's 35 characters. Uh, having a lot of chips is obviously a big up. You should uh, be using your chips like this if you're trying to push story. Unless your battle will is over leveled, then I guess it doesn't matter. But um, this is how I would spread my chips for story. Currently, my chips do not look like this because I don't plan to push story. So I have a lot, a lot of um, legendary chips. So that's basically chips. You're gonna want to put if you have stronger chips, then you're gonna have to put less uh, spirit hole on your character so you can kind of compensate. Uh, same thing for uh, limit breaker. If you if it's like a, an attack limit breaker then um, definitely you're gonna want to um, put more spirit hole and chips if it's low the living breaker so let's get into the cards uh, cards are pretty simple uh, i didn't really focus on these i'll be honest well so they're all at level 40 though uh 240 <laughs> not 40 uh, so that's not all that bad uh you can read this these are the buffs that you get uh you can click the little magnifying glass read that if you want uh, nothing too special in here uh, for me at least but this, the cards definitely do help so don't ignore them like me um, so these are the teams uh, I'm gonna show this off later but I'll go back up and touch on limit breaker so let's just show the limit breaker and talent so those are the last two things that I actually want to talk about in terms of how your characters should be built so this is the way i'm using my spirit hall you absolutely need spirit hall on these characters this is what i use you need spirit hall on him him and him. this these are going to be necessary uh, you don't really need a uh, spirit hall on him if you don't have child emperor so uh don't worry about that i use him on my burn team so i definitely need his spirit hall up same for him and hellish blizzard is actually kind of underrated so you uh, it's always nice to have Limit Breaker on, not Limit Breaker, but Spirit Hall on her because she can clear the debuffs. Uh, these are obviously all necessary, the Spirit Halls. Um, let me just remove those. Okay, so I, I touched up on the Spirit Hall. Uh, let's look at the Limit Breaker. So the Limit Breaker on him is necessary. If you have him plus 6 or plus 7, then you're going to have to compensate with the chips or the Spirit Hall. So uh, you only need a terrible tornado plus seven, but her plus eight is great. It's a 10% more boost, so why not go for plus eight? You don't need that glad link on plus 10, uh, only plus seven, and that should do the trick. Uh, G4 is great at plus seven, but he's even better at plus 10. But for story purposes, um, plus seven would do just fine. Uh, you don't need a uh, lemon breaker on her. Uh, I personally find it helpful because you can minus 10 the rage when a character is about to ult from the enemy team But um, that's just me. I find it really helpful and Child Emperor, uh, I know it's an odd character to be using for story, but he is really helpful So I would put Limit Breaker for sure on him um, Okay, so talent Definitely you need the talent on him uh, Same for her. It's an absolute must because if if a target is marked, uh, you, she can gain five rage. So when, especially when you're using a character like um, Autumn Mosquito Girl, she is absolutely necessary for a story. Uh, if you're using a character like her and you kill three characters, and three of the two characters have rage marks, then Terrible Tornado can ult again. So definitely, you need talent on these two characters. Uh, Talon 30, Talon 30 on Death Gatling 2, absolute must. The 40 crit is great. 
so you need that. Uh, you don't need her talent 30. Uh, as for G4, he's fine at 21. Uh, you don't need to get him talent 30 or finish him off. I think it's fine without it, but it is a nice boost to get him up to T30. Uh, absolutely need the spirit hall on him. Not spirit hall, why do I keep on saying spirit hall? The talent is obviously needed on Melzagard as well. Uh, same for him. Uh, you don't need it on Metal Knight. I generally don't like Metal Knight because it, you need a lot of work for him to do well, but yeah, so don't put him on Talon 30. You don't need to. Child Emperor, uh, you need him Talon 30, obviously. He's one of the most important ones. Uh, you don't need her Talon 30. As for Lily, <laughs> uh, don't get her Talon 30. If you're not using her for boss, then there's no point. A Deep Sea King, um, I don't use him for story, I believe. But it's nice to have his talent 30 just for a trial. King, obviously, talent 30, you need it. And a lot of people swear by um, Genesis talent 30. So get it if you want, but um, I don't feel the need for it. That's why I don't have it on him, talent 30. Uh, I wanted to mention him, uh, Carnage. You, it's obviously, if you have some spirit hole to spare, you should put it on him. Because uh, when he's in his special mode state, uh, you can't crit him, which is obviously great. And if you put this taunt spirit hole on him, uh, he's gonna tank a lot of attacks. So it definitely would be nice to have him on spirit hall. These are all the characters that I wanted to mention for talent 30. Uh, you don't need talent 30 on anniversary genos either. Uh, unless you're using him for boss, then you need every bit you can. So get him on talent 30. So these three characters, not him, uh, these three characters, you definitely need talent 30. Definitely go for his talent 30. Uh, same goes for her. Uh, it gives the um, 30 boost, the 30 rage boost after killing a character. And if and Pig God can ult in his first round. So if you go for his talent 30, I think that's actually just talent 21. But might as well get him 30, it makes him more tanky. It's actually really helpful for a story, even a base mid. So I definitely recommend going for the talent 30s that I've mentioned. If you're focused this story, obviously. But in general, these are good uh, talent 30s to have. So let's just go down. Now I'm gonna show the an actual f battle. So this is the I think this is stage 3760. So these are the characters that I'm using. First of all, I'll just go through the must-have characters that you need. Um, so you need him in this formation. You need him as well. Her too. Her too. Valentine's flashy. He is mainly only uh, for him for Boros. If I'm not using him. Uh, uh, it's gonna attack my uh, lightning max and he's only base mid so he can't withstand three attacks he can only, he can barely withstand one so uh, definitely uh, he is helpful in here uh, he just takes one attack and dies so um, that makes things a lot easier for lightning max he can ult really helpful to have him I only need one copy uh, over here, um, all of these characters are necessary. This is just like my burn team, uh, Metal Knight. When he ults, he burns the characters. Uh, Child Emperor, um, he does more damage when the character is burnt. So these two are definitely needed. Uh, same for all three, you need those as well. I kind of have Hellish Blizzard in for insurance, just to make everything go smooth. If a character gets stunned or something, uh, she can clear off the debuff in her first round. So need all five of these characters over here so in here you you can probably tell you don't need any of these characters uh, anyone will do the trick um, the reason why I'm using um, this guy is because if he attacks Goketsu he can he's gonna alt because when Blackluster is ally Blackluster is that his name I forgot his name so when ally is gonna alt um, Goketsu uh, it's gonna attack both of these guys and I know it's not going to be enough to get G4 in his um, core state. So that's why I have these two characters facing Wash Dog Man. So he can ult as well. And that should put him in his second state. So uh, I'll, I will obviously show the replay afterwards. But um, this is generally the way I make my teams. You don't need to use the same teams on the same exact battles. Uh, you can switch them around. Okay, so uh, this is the fourth team. Uh, I know that is going to be a really long video, I'm running out of breath over here. All of these characters are necessary. Uh, I'm using Michael Plasma uh, just to make sure things go straight. There's a few characters that's paralyzed, so Melzgard doesn't die before ulting. 
that's why I'm using her. Uh, anniversary Genos, uh, you can use any single hitter in here. I'm using Anniversary Genos so he can attack her. Uh, if he takes her out, then Mozart can take these two guys out himself. Obviously, you need a uh, zombie man on a uh, Meldegard team. And Pig God is really helpful because he can take Fukago out for two rounds, I believe. So that's really helpful because then he's not gonna ult. There's gonna be no bleeds, no damage from him. And he won't bother with the rage thingy. So that's why um, uh, I would use Pig God against Fukago. So this is the fifth team. Uh, in here, um, all these characters are necessary. Uh, I'm using Child Emperor plus 7 uh, because that actually helps him. If he chases in his first round, he can ult right away and that can help any of these any of these two characters with their rage, uh, which should help uh, you ult first round. So that's pretty much it over here. Uh, the reason I'm using uh, Carnage in here because I know um, Garo is gonna survive, which is gonna make things a lot more harder. <laughs> so uh, he can con continue stunning him um, and Metal Bat. Meanwhile, he can fend off against Zombie Man. So um, there you go. <laughs> uh, I think I've talked about literally every single thing. So let's uh, look at the replay itself. So um, yeah, uh, this is the replay. Uh, 3760 so this is the first battle uh, so let's just take a look at it okay so as you can see uh, boros took out flashy which is great uh, i'm using the uh, valentine's ammo mask in here so he can reduce the rage a hellish Blitter died, but that's fine. Uh, I actually ended up manually ulting over here. So if I if I go back in here, uh, I, if you auto ult in here, if your um, story is locked on auto, uh, it's gonna let uh, Pluton ult first, which can probably take out Lightning Max. So you want to ult manually in here, so Lightning Max goes, and then he can ult uh, Pluton. Uh, obviously, uh, I. Uh, just a general tip uh, I want to give is you want to put your teams that are easily uh, defeatable uh, first and then the teams that you know will guarantee you a win in the last few battles so you don't waste too much time. Okay, so this is the uh, second team uh, using Death Gatling and Child Emperor. Uh, all of them help for the win. Uh, yeah, there's nothing much to say about this team. Uh, this is just all for damage. There you go. It's done. So uh, this battle, I believe, took like four minutes. So um, it takes some time, but um, these formations do work, and um, that has a uh, really good formation. So um, that's why uh, the spirit hall that I put on, um, I forgot his name, G4. Uh, you need his spirit hall on the uh, attack one on the. <laughs> wow, I can't even talk. Uh, you need his spirit hall to be on the rage one, so as you can see over here. Uh, he was ready to ult once again because he took out two characters. So he got 40 rage from killing two characters and then there's 60 rage coming from auto mosquito girl. So she's brilliant on that team. Uh, this is gonna take some time, so uh, let's just look at this one. So as you can see over here, I ulted in a way which will cancel out Deep Sea King's uh, attack. So uh, his special. So if you look in here, he attacked and then I used my Co's skill, which reduced his rage. So he doesn't rage right away. Uh, he will he will rage though, uh, because um, my Melzigar is going to attack him. So there you go. And as you can see, uh, Pig God is just eating those attacks. Uh, definitely helpful even at base myth. So I re really recommend going for him if you don't have him already. So there you go, Meltigar took out those two guys. Uh, he's down. <laughs> okay, so Zombie Man is up by now, which is great. Uh, he's gonna eat the attack. 
and then there's Mel's guard. So basically, this guarantees the win. Uh, it's over. Uh, let's just take a look at it. And reverse chance can ult, but that's not needed. Okay, there you go. And this is the fifth battle, so this is the last one. I actually got a bit scared for this one. So as you can see, my child emperor didn't chase, but that's totally fine because um, I can still ult. Alright, so this is almost it. No, there's gonna be one more round after this. Alright, there you go. So, um, that's the replay. Um, uh, I showed my characters, I showed which teams you you, <clears throat> you ulti ultimately want to use. So, um, yeah, this is it. Uh, let me just do a quick review. Um, okay, so I think I've touched on um, everything. These are the characters that I use. I know it's going to be drastically different for a lot of other people. But um, this is what works for me, so it might work for you too. So um, I hope you guys find this helpful. Uh, I know I haven't like uh, made any story videos since chapter 29, but um, those videos would be uh, pointless because um, there is spirit hall and then there's chips. So uh, that would make my videos look like a joke. So I'm kind of glad I didn't end up recording those. But um, yeah, here's a general guide. Uh, which I hope helps you guys, Not even, even helps one guy, that, um, I'll consider my job done, but, um, yeah, there you go, so, uh, just a general guide on story, uh, I went in as depth as possible, I uh, possibly could, so, um, yeah, hopefully you'll find this helpful, and, uh, yeah, thank you for watching.